السلام علیکم گائز ویلکم بیک ٹو سول انجینئر یوٹیوب چینل امپورٹینس آف بینٹ اپ بار ان اسٹیل اسٹرکچر اسپیشلی ان بیم ان کالم مینی اسٹوڈنٹس دے ڈونٹ ہیو این آئیڈیا اینڈ دے آر آسکنگ دیٹ سر کین وی پرووائڈ کالم آن دا بیم اسپیشلی ان کنٹیلیور بیم ایٹ دا فری اینڈ آر ناٹ Of course, it's very strange question, especially in steel structure for beam and column. Guys, today I will discuss in this video, importance of bent up bar in beam. As you can see in this diagram, this is top beam and these two are columns, means these are main supports and this is cantilever beam. This is free end and this is also free end. Okay. So, if you need to provide column on this point and also on this point, so can we provide? How we can provide column on the beam if there isn't any support because support is here. And also, can we provide column at the mid if there isn't other support mean other column? Because guys, you can see here, we will provide here if you need here okay that is uh, column on beam also we required here what column on beam here also we required to provide column because it's a strange question and many students, especially civil engineers, they are confused how we can provide column on this point. So therefore, guys, we will also discuss importance of bent up bar. Because without bent up bar, we are not able to provide column in this place. And also at these points, these two, at cantilever points, at the free points. Okay, so the topic is importance of bent up bar and how we can provide columns on the beam so let's start guys if this topic is helpful for you so you will not pay for like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new let's start guys first of all guys as you know this is column this is also column This one is also column, means main supports. And these are what cantilever, okay, from here, because this is a space, for example, for example, this is uh, six feet, and this is also six feet here. So how we can provide column on the beam? Guys, this is the must watch this video from start to end then you are able to learn something new especially in steel structure for bent up bar so why we provide bent up bar so today uh, you will learn about bent up bar okay guys this is a uh, column okay so this is the section of column suppose we have four numbers of steel bars in this column first of all guys we will provide uh, specially in ties okay as you can see this is ties lateral ties okay this is lateral tie okay so the hook angle should be in many videos i have already discussed it should be 130 degree on 130 degree because when you provide hooks with the angle of 130 degree okay so it resist what earthquake okay so it resist earthquake so therefore the stirrups hooks should be with 135 degree especially in this now guys i will tell you especially in column okay at the at the bottom okay at the bottom the ties should be placed nearly okay so if we have two ratios for example what 100 to 200 mm for example okay so at the bottom and also at the top 
the ties should be provided closely. Means if we have this ratio 10 to 200 mm, okay. So at the bottom we will provide with the spacing of 100 mm, okay. But from the bottom about uh, to mid, okay, we will provide it with the spacing of 200 mm right so therefore near at support support is here okay so there are more uh, shear stresses okay so therefore at the bottom at the top the ties should be provided closely with each other but especially at the mid so it should be with more space if this is 100 mm so uh, you can uh, keep it with uh, two, uh, two times of the base spacing means 200 mm okay this is the one point now guys as you can see this is beam as you can see this is beam okay and now we want to provide at this point we need to provide what we need to provide column and this point and also in this point as you can see guys this is bent up bar this red color can show you the main bars in beam this is main bars okay so this is bent up bar this is bent up bar here as you can see so this is the uh, symbol of bent up bar okay so we will provide bent up bar like this okay so now you are able to provide or to construct what to construct column on this point like this okay you are able to provide column you can see also here you can see guys the bent up bar easily you can see this is bent up bar but the bent up bar will be start from the free end okay so here will be to downside then we will incline this to upward side okay but it will become from the support okay here you should not keep it to this point but it will becomes on the column like here as you can see this is column and these are steel bars and column you can see okay so the bent up bar will be overlap here with main bar as you can see is this red color right now you can also provide here what sorry that one is black okay you can provide column at the free end but now guys here you can see this is column steel reinforcement okay but it will be bent like this as you can see it will be bent like this this will also the longitudinal bars longitudinal bars okay also same this one it will be uh, same like like this okay duck legs okay now guys come to ties as you can see these are lateral ties okay so at free end where you are placing the columns so the spacing should be what the spacing especially in stirrups uh, because this is a beam okay so in beam the stirrup spacing should be 50 mm at this point means 2 inches you can keep also at this point 2 inches uh, 2 inches are 50 mm you can keep lateral ties spacing okay and the hooks should be bent with 135 degree this is very important especially in this point guys tell the spacing of tell the spacing of uh, this point okay where you are placing the columns okay so it should be 50 mm but from this column guys from this column to here these ties uh, 
stirrups okay so it should be with 100 mm means 4 inches you can keep at the free end you can keep 50 mm but from this column okay you can keep 100 mm from here about to l by 4 to l by 4 guys you can keep the other stirrups okay about again 200 mm means 4 inches about 200 mm this is very important okay also uh, it should be here 200 mm okay but here near at this point by l by 4 okay you can keep 100 mm 4 inches but where you are placing the columns specially on the free end like this or there isn't any support you can also keep here 50 mm the lateral tie spacing should be 100 mm okay uh, sorry 50 mm 100 uh, mm after l by 4 okay from the column l by 4 from the column center right now guys you can see also here uh, we will provide what other column at this point so how you can keep how we can provide as you can see this is other column okay so what is the method to provide column this is column okay without support because this is the column and this is the column but at the mid we don't have support how we can provide guys this is the importance of bent up bar as i discussed here okay you can see guys again here okay this is bent up bar like this okay so we will provide here and here the legs okay dug legs should be provided here also like this okay like this i will visible this okay this is legs and this is bent up bar and the bent uh, uh, this uh, angle should be this one means as you can see this okay this angle should be also 135 degree but here again comes to lateral ties okay so here guys the lateral ties again when you overlap here what bent up bar so guys remember that the stirrup spacing should be what again here closely means it should be with 50 mm here again we will keep it 50 mm or 2 inches then you are able to provide columns on the free end and also at the mid okay but guys i will tell you if this longitudinal bar dia is for example for example if this is 16 mm for example 16 mm and four numbers longitudinal bars but the upper dia should be less than this dia means we will keep here and this longitudinal bar dia should be 14 mm the dia should be 14 mm here is 16 mm this is the other point so now guys if you want to provide column if there isn't support so how you can provide this is the method first of all the columns lateral ties should be close at the base and also at the top but between the top and base the spacing should be more if at the top is 100 mm for example like this this is lateral ties here and also here okay you can keep here the lateral ties closely also here at the top but here you can keep more than these this is the other point and i've already discussed specially for lateral ties that the hooks should be bent with 135 degree and also and stirrups especially and beam this is the other point but guys remember that dia of the lateral ties should be 8 mm 
lateral ties and also and stirrups that should be 8 mm this is the other point then you are able to provide but one other point this distance should be close not more you can keep about 4 meter 4 to 5 meter you can keep but the depth of the beam should be maximum here especially in this case and we will provide uh, more steel bars especially here main bars in beam if normally in beam you are providing for example four numbers so in this case you will provide six numbers or more than six numbers then you can save these columns okay these columns you can keep but this spacing should be minimum you should not extend this spacing then you, you are able to provide rcc columns especially on beam if there isn't any support okay so guys uh, this is the very strange topic uh, which i've discussed the front of you because more civil engineering students they don't know if you don't have uh, support so how you can place column on the beam so this is the method uh, in which uh, i have discussed specially for for what for bent up bar okay so the bent up bar should be provided and the longitudinal bars base should be bent like dug leg okay so also the dia of the upper rcc columns or longitudinal bars should be less than bottom longitudinal bars this is also the other case then i hope uh, you will save your structure especially this is uh, for uh, beam and column okay so i think uh, maybe uh, it can help you uh, in your structure so guys if you have any question related with this topic which i have discussed the front of you especially in steel structure and bent up bar and also how you can provide column on the beam if there isn't support so you can comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye